today's idea is the beginning of loosening the fixed belief that the cause of any upset, any emotional upset, and any degree of upset being caused by something in the world of time and space, of images, of appearances. This has been the great addiction of the ego, the belief that there is an external world that is causing fear, guilt, pain, shame, hurt. The sleeping mind has been tricked, it's been duped into believing that the world is the cause and the state of mind is the effect. It's an addiction that all human beings have encountered with their time and space experience. You can hear it when little children are arguing. You hurt my feelings. You made me mad. The causation is seen to be in the actions, the behaviors. And the upset is not seen to be in the mind, emanating from consciousness. So this idea, I am never upset for the reason I think, is absolutely essential as a beginning step of giving up the belief in victimization. It's loosening the grip in the mind on this belief in being a victim, being a victim of the world. And this belief in victim and sacrifice runs very, very deep, and it must be dislodged from the mind. This is a lesson that I used for many years, a part of a combination of the lessons that are to follow to turn my mind around from the upside down thinking of the ego to the right minded thinking of the Holy Spirit of the living Christ. It is a way of beginning to claim responsibility for the state of mind and not keep pushing off and pawning off and projecting out false causes. And this lesson will transfer and work well with any upset. So today, practice this lesson in very specific forms, as was suggested by Jesus. Be geared up to notice whenever you seem angry, afraid, irritated, annoyed, worried, or depressed to quickly call upon the lesson for the day by saying, I'm not angry at you for the reason I think. I'm not afraid of you for the reason I think. I'm not worried about this 
for the reason I think. I'm not depressed about this for the reason I think. I'm not irritated at this for the reason I think. I'm not annoyed at this for the reason I think. Practice it with great specificity. With everyone and everything, every situation in which you notice an upset arise today. And again, don't overdo it, as Jesus tells us, three or four times during the day is enough. So if you have many upsets arising, just pause and every so often pick one to work with today and give it all of your heart. Because this is a time of rejoicing that you are now coming to the end of this seeming upset that was never about anything in form. And we have the devotion to be free. So each form that you practice with is a proper subject for using the idea for the day. It's really very profound that there is an escape from all upset. And of course, this is required to experience lasting, stable, consistent peace of mind. It's absolutely essential. This is the remedy for escaping from the ego and seemingly millennium of darkness and fear. Tell yourself, ah, I will use Lesson 5 today to free my mind and come to know the happiness, the love that I am and have always been. Because I am a being created by God to be love and extend love. But the only way to be aware of my true identity is to face this belief in false causation and thinking that there is something in the world that can take away my peace of mind. That is not the truth. I am responsible for my state of mind. And so again, we practice with today's glorious lesson. I am never upset for the reason I think. <laughs>